what do you think some of like the, the viewers and listeners can do um, as an, as acts of solidarity? How can they, um, you know, express support for Julian at this time? Um, well, one of the people that I interviewed yesterday had a great um, idea, which was writing to the Nobel Committee and urging them to give him the Nobel Peace Prize, which he, he should have won every year for the last 10 years anyway. I mean, realistically, um, you know, because then instead of just being an imprisoned publisher, he'd be Nobel Prize winning publisher. Absolutely. And harder because it's insane. I mean, this whole thing is absolutely ridiculous to begin with, but um, if we could get him more, you know, awards and recognition, um, things like that, um, I hadn't really heard that idea before. I think that's a good one. Um, you know, going on WikiLeaks shop, but I always say this, uh, buying merch, wearing it out, start conversations, um, you know, urge your local reporters to remember that this could happen to them. It could happen to anybody, um, depending on who's in power. You know, if some any journalist could get a great leak or scoop or, you know, something and be facing the U.S. government the same way Julian is, as if they're doing their job the way that they should be. Um, so it's important to remind people that, you know, this could be them. They, they could be next. And um, by ignoring what's happening to Julian, um, they're kind of setting themselves up to be in, in this danger and in this situation, or, you know, their colleagues or friends. So, um, yeah, I think that those are pretty good ways. Um, we talk about, you know, petitioning government, public officials a lot, but I think that we also need to be pressuring the press to speak out because um, they could be next. <laughs>